All right, YouTube. Hey, uh, here's Ultimate Droid again. I'm going to do a follow-up to that because I kind of felt bad that I left you guys hanging there on what the ROM is all about. And it wouldn't give any justice to uh, the developer that made this ROM, uh, who's Black Droid. Um, so I'm going to kind of dissect it here. Um, real quick, I just want to go over this. Um, there are two launchers in this. Um, essentially, when we first showed you, we told you to do the Helix uh, launcher, which is basically what I have right now. See? Um, now, in order to obviously get the other launcher, if you defaulted the settings to the Helix launcher, it's real easy to get it back. You just click Menu, Settings. You're going to want to click on Applications. You're going to want to click on Manage Applications. Make sure that you have Filter. Make sure you have um, All Checked. When you have all checked, you're going to scroll down until you see, go to the H's under Helix and Home. If you click on Helix here, um, click on uh, Clear Defaults, this, this option right here. It's kind of hard to see. This is damn camera, but um, there's a Clear Defaults option right there. Um, once you click Clear Defaults and you click Home, now obviously you're going to be able to choose between the two. So if I click on Helix Launcher here, it's going to have the all the stuff that I just spent, you know, several minutes setting up here. Um, again, there is seven screens total. I, I don't even know what to use seven screens for, honestly. I I had trouble even using seven total. Okay. Um, what's really cool is if you do a double tap, it brings them up down here on the bottom, and you can actually choose which one you want. So if I want to jump to the to the very last one here with my Pandora and whatnot, you can do that easily. Um, another cool thing is um, when you click on Home, if you want to if you want to choose the regular uh, launcher here, you can just click on Home. Now, when you see, notice this, everything's going to change. I go back to stock, not necessarily stock, but I only have five screens total. And then it's a different launcher, obviously. Now, what I've noticed is I kind of like this launcher better. I wish they would have just kept it this way. Reason being is because you can drag it down. If I if I show you guys the Helix launcher here, and I click on this guy, there's no way to get it down. It's just going to drop my notification panel here. I don't. I didn't. I was kind of thought that was a little weird. Anyways, I still like the Helix launcher over um, over the other one just because it looks a little bit cleaner, um, and I love the fact of having seven screens, even though I don't know what to do with all of them all. But um, so just a couple tidbits into this ROM, you obviously have a ton of stuff that got preloaded into it. You have the multi-touch gallery here, um, 3D gallery, um, and as you can see, if you click on this, you can pinch to zoom here. So pinching to zoom is very nice. Um, let's just go ahead and default Helix. Um, now if I click on Home, it's not, it's automatically going to keep the Helix. Okay, guys? So if I click on Home here, it's automatically going to go. Um, another thing, um, uh, obviously the browser here. Um, if we go to Google.com, click on Classic. Whoops, not help. Classic. You're going to see multi-touch browsing. Um, I'm not going to show you multi-touch maps. We already all already have that, but that's some of the stuff that got implemented into this ROM right away. And as you can see, there's a smoked theme going here. I have the 2.1 news widget, YouTube, obviously. Another really cool feature are the keyboards that got loaded into this. Now, the stock keyboard is even themed. If we click on the Google search here, you can see it's a different keyboard, which is really cool. I haven't used it too much, so I don't know how much how the accuracy is. Um, it is it, it's pretty cool looking it looks simple and flush I like the design a lot um, in order to access the other keyboards let's click on settings here we're gonna go into whoops we're gonna go into uh, language and keyboard now there's three of them you have touch input which is the HTC um, uh, keyboard that was ported in that I showed you guys earlier and then obviously swipe um, I hate swipe I'm not a fan of it I can't stand it I'm sure there's tons of guys out there Tons of gals out there that uh, love swipe. I honestly don't dig it whatsoever. I can't stand it. So I'm never going to use that. I'll show it to you guys. But anyways, so let's go ahead and uncheck Android keyboard. We'll go ahead and check touch input. 
Uh, now we'll click back on home. Let's click on Google real quick and it'll bring up the touch keyboard. So it's simple as that guys, real quick on how to um, touch uh, uh, input that real quick. Now if you wanna do the swipe, same thing. Just click back here, menu, settings, go into the language and keyboard, uncheck touch input, check swipe, even though I really don't want to. Now if we click here, we have the swipe keyboard. And the whole little swipe point is to do this little jazzy weird, I can't dig it, I really don't. You can type as normal sometimes, but um, when you're starting to type fast and stuff, it wants to swipe all over the place, you know? So um, no swipey swipey. I hate the swipe keyboard. Please don't chastise me for that. I just really don't like it. I'm gonna stick to the HTC keyboard. It's one of my faves. So we'll go ahead and put that one back on. Okay. Um, so another thing, uh, obviously, um, is this 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 ROM had tons of applications preloaded into it. A lot of them you probably won't even use. Doc Runner is um, a program, obviously, I went over in one of my app reviews. It's used to simulate that the phone's in a dock position. Um, the uh, IM app right there, it's for G1 users. It's the G1 um, LEDs hack. This uh, enables you to, um, I'm sorry, guys. This enables you to um, turn off your bottom LEDs here or the top one up here. Um, which I really don't use, so I'd uninstall that. There's quick settings, which is I don't really use. There's quick boot, which is pretty cool because when you click on it here, um, you can automatically reboot into recovery. So even there's no holding X or anything like that, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, there's terminal emulator that's automatically load, visual voicemail, wireless tethering, spare parts. That's kind of like an animation setting. You can kind of tweak that a little bit there. Um, Mix Zing, it's a good music player, but I prefer the Rock On right now, a different one I'm using. Um, so in order to get rid of some of these, you would want to download this program called Uninstaller, and then you can actually uninstall everything from here, the ones that you don't want. For instance, Swipe, we're definitely getting rid of that bad boy. Um, and anything else that you don't want. So um, honestly, guys, I just wanted to show you that real quick. And you know, obviously you can overclock, I'm running one gigahertz exactly right now which is 1000 megahertz um but uh anyway that's that this is the ultimate um ultimate droid version uh 7.8 thank you again for watching um if you guys have any comments or questions please feel free to uh go ahead and ask them um I just wanted to do a quick follow-up, you know, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging and I wanted to show some of the cool features of the ROM itself, um, you know, the interactive live wallpapers obviously, um, and you can easily change those, there's a couple different ones you can choose, but anyways, um, running out of time obviously, so thank you again for watching, I really appreciate all your comments. If you like my videos, please subscribe, um, thanks for watching this follow-up to the uh, how to install the Android um, Ultimate Droid version 7.8. It's a custom 2.1 ROM, ROM, which actually I want to show you real quick. I'm sorry I'm skipping all over the place here, but I was going to do this to begin with. But if we click on About Phone, you can obviously see I'm running 2.1 firmware. It's right there. Um, I, obviously, I'm running the kernel, Chevy's kernel, and Ultimate Droid 7.8. So. That's that, guys. Thanks for watching YouTube. Take care, and uh, please feel free to comment and ask any questions you want, and I will see you soon. See ya.